I welded every day for seven days with zero welding experience. <laughs> Now let me tell you why. Three weeks ago I made this video. It was about how I bought a dirt bike of Alibaba, but I blew it up, so I decided to convert it to electric. So to convert the dirt bike to electric, I need to learn how to weld. Okay, it's the morning of day one, let's hop in the car and buy a welder from Bunnings. Let's go. Okay, I knew I wanted a really good quality welder, so I ended up going with the most expensive one in Bunnings. It does MIG, TIG and stick. So basically all the main welding types. I also decided to buy a big metal cutter saw because it's a lot easier and quicker to use than an angle grinder. The welder looks good, I'm about to set it up and plug it in for the very first time. So yeah, I'm going to plug in the welder and yeah, let's see if I can lay some nice welds. Okay, so I don't have a welding table yet, so I'm going to clear out this little area, this is where my dog Rusty sleeps. Take a dog bed and everything out and I'll just try and do some welding on the ground. Hopefully I don't burn the wood. Huh. Okay, so I went to Bunnings and I picked up this really long piece of steel here. I'm going to cut this piece of steel into seven different parts and every day I'm going to weld on another section and then at the end of it I'm going to see how much my welding has improved from day one. Cool, it's now in. Okay, three, two, one. First ever arc, let's strike it. This welder can do three different types of welding. It can do stick, MIG, and TIG. This video, I'm gonna be learning MIG and stick because TIG is really hard to learn. I might make another video in the future where I learn TIG welding in a month or something. <coughs> I think I need to buy a, a mask. Bruh. Anyway, let's uh, keep on welding. I'm burning the floor with the heat of the welder. So I'm going to put this piece of wood underneath the piece of metal I'm welding so hopefully it won't burn the ground. Cool. Come on, no. Okay, here are the results from day one. Brother, uh, what's that? Okay, it's obvious that I need some practice, but there's two welds that I'm actually slightly proud of. It's this one and that one. It started to rain outside, so I decided to close the shed up, turn the welder off, and just spend the rest of the day watching YouTube videos on how to stick welds for beginners. And I learned quite a lot. Turns out I've been doing pretty much everything wrong, but more on that tomorrow. Okay, it's day two. I'm in the car currently. It's about 8 a.m. right now. I'm about to go to Mitre 10 and buy a respirator. So when I do lots of welding today, I don't wreck my lungs any more than I already wrecked them yesterday. And I'm also going to buy a argon and CO2 gas canister because the gas canister I bought was just a straight argon and you're not supposed to use straight argon for MIG welding. And I want to learn MIG and TIG welding in this video. Okay, I'll see you when I get back from Mitre 10. Okay, it's day two, I bought a respirator. It doesn't say anything on the box about protecting against smoke or welding fumes, but it was the cheapest one at Mitre 10, so hopefully it's better than not wearing anything. But let's see if I can lay some nice welds without setting the floor on fire again. Let's go. Gotta remove your dog bed. The water bowl. Okay, let's do some welding. I'm gonna try and lay some nice beads across here. Now flip it over the other side and to the other side. I'm going to also be turning down the welder settings down to about halfway. Because last time I had it the whole way and it was just way too hot. I did some research yesterday into how to stick weld. It turns out when I'm learning how to stick weld, I should have it in about half position. So yeah, let's do some welding.
Oh. 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 Okay. okay, the respirator definitely helps. My lungs don't feel like they're about to give out like they did yesterday. Unfortunately, I set the floor on fire again. It's two days in a row. I think it's time to build a welding table. Also, these are results from day two doing stick welding. I just gotta hit the flag off. I gotta take all the stuff out of this shed build a table there with all my gas kind of stuff I'm gonna take all the shelves out take everything out clean it out time like sign Okay, so it's time to do some welding, let's go. So I've got the table, made it, all, made it all up. Now it's time to weld these two pieces of steel together along this seam. So I'm going to be doing MIG welding for the very first time. Now I just gotta hook the gas up to the welder and then I'll weld it together. Okay, but before I do any welding, I just need to put this welding wire in the welder. Okay, let's do some welding. Okay, time to do my, my first ever mid gas weld. And this is how it turned out. As you can see, I think I was trying to get it more right there. That's a decent weld for a beginner. And I was learning across here. Unfortunately, I burnt the table because all the heat from the welding went straight down into the table. And it's way too thin and my welds are horrible. So my plan is, I'm going to make a metal structure out of square metal tubing to go around this table and across across and then I'm going to put this on top of that so there will be a gap between the wood and the metal of about that much. And after doing that hopefully I won't set my table on fire again. But it's starting to get dark so I'll see you tomorrow. So I typed up the nearest steel supplier. Unfortunately, they were closed because today is Sunday and they only open six days a week. So I decided to just go to my shed and lock in for the rest of the day and practice my stick and mig welds. Off and see the results. These are yesterday's welds, pretty terrible, and these are today's welds. They will actually look quite a lot better. Okay, let's hook it up to do some MIG welding. Wire in, so I'm just gonna close that up. Now I'm just gonna. I'm now going to turn on the gas. Oh. Sick. Sick. Well, it shouldn't be that loud, should it? Face shield doesn't fit. I did it. I just cut my Okay, so now a piece of steel. Oh, fuck. Sick. Okay, next step, 
to grind off all this rust. Not making a good nice well if it's rusty. Oh, yeah. Something really important. It's really, getting really hard, almost impossible at night to close that door of rusties. I wonder what we're having when we touch this while it's spinning. Probably nothing good. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I started off. You can see it's not a very good weld, it's really thick. The second weld I did, also pretty thick. That weld's pretty thick, I was moving it like really slowly across the metal. Then I did this weld, it's a lot thinner. And this one, I was perfecting it, this one I mucked up a little bit. I stopped the bead, this one was just practice. And I reckon the best weld I did was either this one or that one, probably this one. Come and look about it. So, fun's going down. This is the frame so far. It's got a tack weld there, there, and then I'll prop will weld it all up. Then I'll grind it down. Tack welding. I'm gonna turn the welder up to 100%. So I'm just doing little tack welds. It needs to be strong enough. And then after it's all tack welded together, and I've lifted it all up and checked it's all level, then I'll properly weld it and I'll turn it down. But I'm tack welding it full power. I'm using this to keep it all up square. Okay, the sun's going down, but I'm about to hop in the car right now and go to the local steel supplier. I'm gonna get them to laser cut out a piece of four mil thick steel because the steel that I was using on it originally is just too thin, it will warp with all the heat. So I'm gonna pick up some four mil thick, so it's about that thick, so it won't warp. So yeah, I'm gonna pick that up and then I'll see you tomorrow when I'm gonna finish the table off. Okay guys, it's the next day. I finished welding on both sides. Now I am going to get my grinder over there, put on my safety gear, and I'm gonna grind away all of the uh, all of the weld access joint. Okay, now both sides are grinded down. It's time to sweep off the table. Here, make sure it's all nice and clean, and then I'm gonna put that big piece on top, then I'll place it on top of that, bind it all up on all the edges, and then I'll tack weld it all down. Exactly the reason why I didn't just put this directly on here, that's why I made a frame because the heat goes through it and burns it. Okay, I'm gonna uh, flip it over. And just like that, my welding table is done. The reason why I decided to go with this design is because it was made to make another gap about that much between the metal welding table and the wood underneath it. So, any welding that I do, which could be like a couple hundred degrees. On the top of the table, the heat won't reach down to the wood and set the table on fire again. So yeah, so for the next two days, I'm just going to keep on practicing my MIG and TIG welds, and then it will be time to see how much my welding have improved from day one to day seven. Let's go. And for the last two days of the challenge, day six and seven, I spent the entire time practicing my MIG and stick welding. I went through the entire packet of sticks, which is about 50. But finally, here are the results. This is my before. And these are my afterworlds. Leave it in the comments what you rate them. See you in the next video. Bye.